Hey guys and welcome back to yet another Factorio tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be talking about ratios and how to find out ratios. There are a, or rather there is a website that I know of that will give you ratios. Unfortunately I didn't find this out until I created my own freaking ratio spreadsheet. But I'll get onto that in a second. I'll leave the link to that in the description below. Um, but in the previous episode where I was talking about instead of stack size bonus I showed you this little ratio which is three copper cables to one electronic circuit. So, how do you find that out? So you have a little look, if you go to your production tab, you have a look at your copper cables. Every half a second, you make one electronic circuit. Okay, so that's what the little clock means, is every half a second, one electronic circuit is made. One electronic circuit requires three copper cables. Okay, copper cables are made in batches of two, and they're made every half a second. So what you need to do is you do you have to find the lowest common denominator. So in this in this it would be six copper cables to two electronic circuits. Because if you can make three times the copper cables in half a second, that's six. And that requires and two electronic circuit factories require six copper cables in half a second. So that's a three to a three to two ratio. And that's what we've got here. We've got a three ratio or three pumping straight into our two ratio. And that's how you find out the, the best ratios. It's all the fractions and lowest common denominators, etc, etc. Stuff that you should have learned in elementary school. So it's pretty easy to do. If you need any help with the math, it's very easy. All you do is forward slash C, uh, game dot player dot print. Oh, not pring. Print. And then you can do any math you want. So 800 divided by 2. 400. Okay? Pretty simple. And that's how you can do any math without having to alt tab, go to a calculator or anything like that. So what I've done is I've shown you how to how to check those ratios. Now I'm going to show you a ratio in practice. So I'm going to show you how ratios can be fucking terrible for a factory. So say I want to make substations. Substations are made at half a second per substation. Um, substations require five uh, advanced circuits. I'm not going to go into the steel plates. Um, I just assume that you've got max steel plates coming through. So in order to make one substation, you need five electronic circuits every half a second. Okay, so, okay, I want to make five electronic circuits every half a second. So how do I make electronic circuits? What's the best ratio for them? Electronic circuits require every eight seconds. Uh, advanced circuits require every eight seconds two electronic circuits. Okay, so in... Our electronic circuits, we're back to our 3 and 2. So, if we're making 2 electronic circuits every half a second, then every 8 seconds, we need 16 electronic circuits. Uh, we'll have 16 electronic circuits. So, in order to do that, then that means that every 8 seconds, these two can supply 8 factories. Yes? Are you with me? Sorry, these two can supply 16 factories. Because in every 8 se is that right? Yeah, every 8 seconds we'll have 32, sorry. Because there's 2 of them, so that's 8 times 16, and then double because it's half a second, not a second, so that's 32. Okay, so that requires 2 sets of these factories in every 8 seconds. Am I right or am I mixing up my, my math now? Right, if they were... Hmm... One of them can make 16, so that's 32, yeah. And they require 16 every 8 seconds, so you can have 16 factories. That's right. Jeez. So, for every one of these, we can have 16 advanced circuit factories. But, we also need to take into account the copper cable for it. So, let's actually have a look at this, because I've already set it up, and that should make it a bit simpler for you. So, we've got one of these supplying 16 factories, and every 8 factories only requires one copper cable, because if we go back, that, that makes 2 and 5 seconds, so every second it makes 4. And each one of these uses four and uh, where is it? Four every eight seconds. Okay, so that means that we can have eight to one. Okay, so this is a perfect ratio between green circuits and to red circuits. Okay, and then from red circuits into our assembly machine here, making our substation. I know you think you're thinking, Stijo, with those eight, you're making one electronic circuit per second. Indeed, and this requires five electronic circuits every half a second. 
So with these two banks here, we're making one electronic circuit in half a second, two electronic circuits half a second, three electronic circuits half a second, four, five. So in order to make this one thing in half a second, this is the size of the factory that you're going to need. So this is what I mean by ratios are great, but sometimes they can be a complete pain in the ass because there's no need for you to be making these every half a second because this is what you would need to make those every half a second, which is a massive amount of resources for something, basically because it's really expensive to make a substation. And that's all there is. So yes, use ratios if you're making something cheap, something easy to make. Yes, use the ratios to make these because it's just a fantastic idea. But don't go overboard and make freaking everything with the correct ratio because you will end up with something ridiculous like this. But that's going to do us for this episode. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve. You've been awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.